Lesson 7.3b, Converting Units Using Proportions and Unit Rates. We can use ratios and proportions to convert both customary and metric units. We can use a table to convert from one unit to another within the same measurement system, customary unit to customary unit, metric unit to metric unit. Equivalent ratios with the same numerator will have the same denominator and equivalent ratios with the same denominator will have the same numerator. We can use this table of customary measures to convert from one unit to another. What is the weight of a five pound bag of potatoes in ounces? We look at the weight. It says there are 16 ounces in one pound. LB is the abbreviation for pound. And we think we can use a proportion to convert five pounds to ounces. We have a unit rate of 16 ounces for one pound. We're trying to get five pounds in ounces. One pound needs to be multiplied by five in order to be five. We need to multiply the 16 ounces by the same number. And we can do a little math on the side. And 16 times five is 80. We know it's 80 ounces. A five pound bag of potatoes weighs 80 ounces. And we can use this table of metric measures to convert from one unit to another. Bob's cat has a mass of 4,000 grams. What is his cat's mass in kilograms? We think we can use a proportion to convert 4,000 grams to kilograms. So G is the abbreviation for gram and kg is the abbreviation for kilogram. And it says 1,000 grams is one kilogram. We have our unit rate of 1,000 grams is one kilogram. We have 4,000 grams that we're trying to find the kilograms. And for 1,000 to be 4,000, we need to multiply it by four, which means we multiply the kilograms by four. And that tells us that four kilograms is 4,000 grams. So Bob's cat has a mass of four kilograms. Emma is 60 inches tall. What is her height in feet? We think we can use a proportion. There's 12 inches in one foot. We have our unit rate of 12 inches to one foot. We need to find feet for 60 inches. And we think 12 times five is 60. We know we need to multiply one foot by five, which is going to give us five feet. So Emma is five feet tall. Here it's telling us to convert six meters to centimeters. We can use a proportion. One meter is 100 centimeters. And we can write one meter over 100 centimeters as a proportion. We have six meters. One meter times six is six meters. That means we need to multiply the centimeters by the same amount, which means we're going to get 600 centimeters. Now, do you notice I've got the meter on top and the centimeters on the bottom? Could we solve it with the centimeters on top and the meter on the bottom? We know one meter is going to be with the meters down here for the denominator, and we need to multiply it by six to get six meters. That means we need to multiply the centimeters times six, which means it's 600. Do you see we got the same amount, 600 centimeters? Either way, they're proportions, but this one is a unit rate. We're now going to go on to the last part of this lesson, converting units by using conversion factors. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.